Hey guys, it's Investor. I don't know every video today. I'll be joined by Jacob Booter, aka Jacob Butter. Well, I met lots of ladies. Yes, and today we will be reviewing episode nine of season two of Meta Runner. Last episode, um, the audio got messed up and it's now irrelevant, unfortunately. So, in summary, um, last episode I really liked. We both really liked the last episode. It was good. Um, I wish they, I wish we actually get to see Bell get captured rather than not be captured and just mentioned in one line, which I did not even realize that line the first time I saw the episode. I did not realize that was meant to be her getting captured. So, you know, I just wish we saw that. I understand time constraints, but why? <laughs> I want you to see that. No. <laughs> yes. All right. But yeah, last episode was actually really good. Right, Jacob? I don't know about really good. I still prefer episode seven, but, but it was good. I definitely would rank episode eight above the other ones. Yes. Also, uh, I'm just gonna uh, yeah. Um. Anyways, so basically, this episode we're on episode nine, which is the penultimate episode of the season, I think. And yeah, I liked this episode. Nightmare mode. Yeah, it was a nightmare. <laughs> I like this episode. Did you like it? I don't know. What were your thoughts? Hmm. I can I can certainly see it start to fall back into the, into its old habits. I must say, like almost immediately, you have um you had the setup from the last episode of Sophia threatening Sophia threatening Lux and um you know, Lux that uh, the plan going to fruition about her letting herself get captured and then immediately she forgets about the fact that she herself is going to be hostage along with Marcel oh yeah that was a dumb aspect of the plan like you let yourself... she traded herself for one person and then uh, one hostage and now Lux has three so um although I did like the way the plan was staged because from an outside view I mean it was kind of like I was able to eventually tell that it was clearly a plan and went to be part of the plan but you know but I do like yes, how... Yes, my favorite part of that... My favorite part of that plan is with the fact they actually used Tari's warping to their advantage for once. Like, it actually came into the story. Yeah, and Tari, you know... Did that. Oof. So yeah, I really like... Oh, yeah. I don't know. The, the beginning of this episode was decent. Um, most of this episode, honestly, is just action for the most part, you know? Because... Well, yeah, but a lot of them episodes recently have been action. Like we just went, we just got done with the show match, which was a, a two or three episodes of almost nothing but action, and the plan being carried out at the same time. It's all go, go, go from here onwards. Yes, yeah, so and now the fan, the finale apparently is airing next week, so that's going to be fun. Maybe the series finale. They still haven't confirmed. They haven't confirmed or denied a season three. Well, and well, let's, let's see if we can get back to this episode for now because we've got we've got plenty of thoughts. I guess founded on this episode about what could happen next. But as for the stuff that's either the, either the merit or disadvantage in this one, can I just point out that I love the joke about the um about the senpai uh, thing and the goon that that obviously says nothing but has like such a reaction to the game shutting down right at that point. Yeah, he'd be very upset after he <laughs> lost his wife. It's a little bit the progress. All his wife. It's a progress. little bit cliche, but I get that. Hopefully, he had a bunch of save states. Yeah, I actually felt like this episode had quite a few jokes in it. Like they had quite a few moments that were meant to be comedic, like with like especially the workers for Lux, and I did like that. You know, comedy. Yeah, well, also is Lux is it. suffering as well. And, uh, uh, although now I'm wondering why there's like a sewage maintenance unit. Like, why do they? Why does the game company have any kind of any connection to the sewers? Unless, uh, <laughs> unless they have like a sewage maintenance in between the underground lab and the and the Tazco building. I mean, they make games that. and or and they have a whole team of scientists. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, but how many scientists study sewage? True. I don't know. I feel they feel like the very versatile company. So I suppose they are. Maybe, maybe that's why they took over so quickly because they do so many things. Yeah. I mean, uh, on YouTube, I can testify that doesn't work, but in real life, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Although I did like, um, actually, like, getting to see Tari's skills put on to a test, but I just really wish they actually showed this earlier in the season, like, showed her training more, and, like, we actually get to get a quite a bit more details. But, like, I do like her skill boost in this episode, but I feel <clears> like <throat> it was sorely missing, like, this amount of, like, skills with hacks and knowing stuff. I know they're did playing you on... Actually glitched out yeah did we actually see 
Do we actually see the memory glitch that she does with a coconut before now? No, th this was our original thing that apparently happened. Granted, they uh, are in a glitched out right. cartridge, so it, I guess it, I guess well, it's a lot easier to glitch out the game than normally in a gaming thing. Well, but yes, at the same but... time, I wish she would exploit these glitches before because she didn't, especially like in the in the sh like a secret showdown, secret heroes. In the Secret Heroes game, it was very... I guess her skills, in my opinion, weren't put to test as much, where we get to see her normal skill set, but now we get to see her, like, exploiting glitches and... Okay, two things about the memory glitch, Being a proper meta runner. Probably being... Two things about the memory glitch. Um, is that, um... Is that she... That is the one... That's one thing they could have shown, is her learning that, because Theo mentions that she learned it at Tazco, but we probably never see her learn it at Tazco. The second thing about that is, why on earth did Bell not do the exact same thing? If Bell supposedly taught her, why didn't she do the exact same oh, thing yeah. several times before in the game? That would have helped them out. So yeah, it definitely feels like a sudden MacGuffin out of nowhere. Speaking of that, actually, um, Evelyn's glitch mode and the gigantic behemoth she becomes with infinite life cheats. Yeah, I do like this element of it, though, and I feel like it's it's like an actual game final boss. Like, if you actually were playing a video game, final boss! <laughs> yes. The ultimate. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I don't know, perhaps, but then again, I so I somewhat doubt that the original final boss looked anything like that. Yeah. And then again, yeah. And although I guess you know the final boss controlled by Evelyn, I thought they were going to just materialize Evelyn's character in there. Yeah, that was my otherwise... original assumption, but no, they they, they didn't do that. <laughs> they just made her a weird yeah. abomination using all the glitching, the gl the glitched out game, and just made an abomination out of all the models together. Yeah, I'd have thought Evelyn would have preferred much more of a one on one approach, but then I get there. I guess that's kind of what the um the climax of last season was, so maybe that wouldn't work as well. I mean, yeah. Although, I don't see how actually freeing Theo will help. I don't know, I just, it's just interesting, you know, like, I mean, even if they It do... won't help, it's just, it, it, it's just they, they want to get him out of there. That was, you know, he's, he, he's their friend. It's not like it's gonna, like, benefit them too much in the long run. Yeah. I'm just worried about, like, all the characters that are captured. Like, is, he, is Lux going to just yeah, straight exactly. up murder them? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's not going to benefit them at all now because it's going to be, because they've got a bunch of people other I just have flashbacks now. to the finale of season one where Lux literally shot, was willing to shoot Masa in the head, killing him for crying out loud. Yeah. Like, I, suppose, yeah, I mean, if they, did, if they did do a season three, it's probably going to be Tari, Theo, and Lucinia trying to save everybody else. I don't know. They get Lucinia out of the server at the same time as Theo. Tommy warps all of them, I don't know, something like that. I mean, that would be a depressing finale, though. <laughs> Again, well, I mean, we, we went through this with season one. Why is it... Listen, please do not do a depressing finale again. No, every finale has to be sad at the end. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Because, like, if they were to do something like that, it would be kind of reverse of this season where, where Tari was kidnapped and, like, MD5 had to find a way to get to her and had to work their way to obviously end up confronting Lux again. It would just be kind of weird if Tari has to do that, if Tari has to basically go through the same motions as that Lux did. I mean, not Lux, MD5 did in the initial... It would end. give her more time as a main character. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Early in the season, that was a massive plot problem. Seriously, they're like, no, everyone else is more interesting. Tari, you're not interesting anymore. <laughs> Listen. I just want to know Tari's past. That's all I'm asking. Just... Tell me her backstory. Tell me her anime backstory. Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. Tari, Theo, Lucinia on a rescue mission. Lucinia also reveals a lot about Tari's past. I don't know. Something like that. They have two quests that happen simultaneously. Maybe that's what that, what goes on. I don't know. I don't know. Enough predictions, I suppose. I'm scrolling through to see if there's anything else they wanted to mention. I mean... Oh, the fact that um, Evelyn can interact with the world as well. Maybe she, that is like an in-game monster that's just glitched out. Yeah. But then again, shouldn't she be glitching too? Shouldn't every? I mean, everything's glitches in this game. Like even the monsters, except for, except for Evelyn, who seems to be perfectly fine somehow. Yeah, that's a little weird. Although I am excited for next episode. But yeah, this episode was overall a good episode. I just you know wish that we got. I don't know. There are just certain plot points that I wish were better off you know 
Yep, pretty much sums up a lot of the stuff about this series in general. But yes, I think we're on the same page for this one. Yeah. Maybe not about where it's going to go, but where it is now, I think. Yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. <laughs> Goodbye.